start with and um, I mean okay the injuries may be a downside but mm. you must be delighted with the actual result and performance. Yeah definitely I think obviously after the disappointment of Saturday to concede as, as late as we did and, and play as well as we did um, it was a test for the players yeah to see how they can deal with that and handle it and then obviously on the flip side of that obviously UPR scoring two very very late goals at Sunderland and you think from a momentum point of view you know can you start the game quickly can you match them um, and I thought we played really well in that first half and you know really contributed to a decent game of football um, went ahead in the game looked, looked, looked comfortable um, and then yeah the the injury to Charlie, yeah, it was a big blow because he was having a big influence on the game and he, and he was playing his part. But they'll get better as a group. Um, they'll learn how to deal with being ahead in games and, and, and deal with that a little bit better and being a little bit braver and continuing to press high up the pitch. But listen, I've been there, been in their shoes. I know what it's like sometimes. You know, you want to protect what you've got and hit teams on a counter attack and. Um, yeah, for as much as you try and stay positive from the side and try and push them on, ultimately, you've got to give a little bit of respect to the opposition. What's the sort of situation with Charlie and Lewis? Um, not, not great, if I'm being, being honest. Um, obviously, we'll know the full extent over the next 72 hours, I would imagine. Uh, Lewis looks like he's, uh, well, he's definitely done his hamstring, but, you know, how badly, um, you know, we won't know really until it's been scanned. And then Charlie... Uh, his ankle was quite badly swollen. It was badly swollen at half time. Um, so it's obviously something where we've got to control the swelling, get the swelling down. And then once we're in a position where the swelling's under control, then he can go and get it scanned. Mm -hmm. But as you say, the, the, sort of the, the ability to, to show bravery, to take control, mm. to, to mm. express yourself, that's, mm. that's, do, do you've got a sign of where you want to push the team with, with that performance today? It's all I know. It's all I've been brought up doing it's all I've done with all my teams that have managed and coached and you know um, it, it what it does is it produces players it helps develop players um, and I think it's the right way to go for us we're, we're growing as a football club this is only our second season in the championship for a long long time so well, I say a long long time for a period of time but um, yeah and, and and if they can do it and do it on a regular basis and come to places like QPR and pick the points up then we're certainly on the right path. And when you are sort of late on trying to sort of soak up that pressure <laughs> on the sidelines there's not a lot you can do mm. um, but I mean it's not as if there were top corner saves that you made, the defence yeah. was still working really hard in the midfield to try and restrict chances. Yeah we, we, we tried to sort of change it a little bit and go with two, two at the base in midfield with Kenny and, and Callum just to give us a a little bit more support in front of those two centre halves because obviously they they went with two up top late on and um, yeah there was a temptation to go to a five and stop balls down the side but then that probably would have took the took the opportunity away from us from counter attacking and and still being high up the pitch so um, yeah l listen they dealt with it manfully uh, they dealt with crosses and 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 um, got some important headers in at times and some important blocks. But as the as the QPR, it's just obviously with the crowd and the energy that it always seems louder when it's in the opposition's box than it does in you know uh, it's sorry in your box than it does in the opposition's box. Michael, is it um, pleasing or disappointing that you had enough chances to win mm. a company that you did in the end? Yeah, I mean, listen, that's been the story. To be fair, of pretty much every game this season apart from Stoke. Like the first half of Stoke is the only sort of 45 minutes when I've been really disappointed. Um, we turned it around a little bit in the second half but all the other games we certainly played our part, created opportunities. Saturday was no different going out to Barrow in, in the cup, the amount of chances we created in that game as well. So we looked dangerous, we looked like we can score goals, we're just obviously not hitting the net on a, on a regular basis at the minute. But the, probably the most pleasing thing more than anything is that, you know, taking the sort of Stoke game out where we conceded the two, really, you know, we, we've had three out of five clean sheets in the game so far and we should have four out of five, you know. So, um, and all we'll, all I'm doing is sort of trying to tweak um, the style of play and be a little bit more progressive and get people to be braver on the ball, but not going away from what the, the side have been good at for the last two seasons. Like about Josh, didn't we yesterday, Michael? Some, mm. some response from him. Yeah, exactly. And 
you know, I've just been asked downstairs, was there anything that was said between sort of like tonight and, and Saturday? And not a lot because, you know, I give him the responsibility and the freedom to go and do what he does. And as long as he out of possession does his little bit, gets in the areas to try and stop forward passes, I, I'm happy for that to be the case. And listen, he got one and probably thinks he should have got a couple more and maybe could have slid one or two over the players in. But but that's Josh, you know, he's, he's got that quality and uh, I won't be taking that away from him. Yeah, exactly. And and listen, you know, Jordan got more game time, which is pleasing uh, at right back. And obviously the two central midfield players um, in front of the back four played their part as well. And yeah, it was a real team performance. Everyone had to give something to the to, to the effort at some point throughout the game. And um yeah, I'm just I'm just delighted I've got the three points, but I've just got this niggling thing at the back of my head with the two young boys who got injured. Yeah, just on, on Jordan, at three some appearances now. How ready is he to actually start? I think he's good to go if if we feel feel we we need to. Um, you know, and listen, Hubby, Hubby's in the same same position. Obviously, you know, Dom's done brilliantly for us and 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 continuing to sort of um, hit the ground running like he did from the first game and. Um, you know, we've got real good competition, certainly in the full-back areas. That, that's one thing for sure. So uh, we look a little bit light in midfield now. That worries me a little bit for Saturday. But um, I'll try and not worry about that till tomorrow. <laughs> does that make you want to be a bit more active in the transfer market, maybe? <laughs> well, it does, yeah, obviously. But, you know, wanting to and, you know, like getting people to play ball. And I don't mean that from, from our point of view. But obviously... Um, it's it's not as easy as what everyone sort of thinks it is to get the right player at the right time at the right price etc. It's very very difficult. Just finally, just on the plans tonight, some effort with it beyond Sky. Especially. Brilliant. I mean, God knows what time us and them are going to get back to to Blackpool tonight, and you guys. So um, yeah, at least it's going to be a, a better journey than it would have been if, um, for instance, we would have been playing Swansea away on Saturday. That would have been a disaster. But anyway, yeah, we can enjoy it tonight. Yeah. And also you, you sort of backed him mm. and found criticism for missing a couple yeah. of chances. Mm. That's quite a quick turnaround, isn't it? From, yeah. From, from there. Yeah, but he's got that. He's got that quality, and he knows he's got that quality. So there's almost an air of confidence, arrogance about him because he knows what he's capable of. And yeah, I, I only said what I said because you know I I, I, I say it straight and I am, I'm honest. And sometimes I'm probably too honest for my own good, but. He didn't need to apologise because the reality is the only people he needed to apologise, if anything, was his teammates. But he's got them out of um, a few holes at times and, and produced some magic moments um, last season. He's done it again today. Thank you. you touched on clutching the sort of trust in the process and fans having patience and mm -hmm. now it's like this, I guess, is why. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. You know, because we've had to show sort of you know, two sides really of us tonight. Obviously, first half. Like I say, we contributed to a really good game of football, and and you know had big moments in the, in the game. Could have, you know, end up having silly moments in the game by poor decisions, but I get that, and we've got to we've got to sort of work through that. Um, and then, yeah, second half we had to dig in at times, but you know, listen, I, I'd, I'd be surprised if we play any game this season in the championship where we have at least a 15, 20 minute spell where we've got to dig in. We're not a. Um, a super club, a big club at this level. So the reality is, you know, we're, we're going to have to find different ways of winning games at times. And I guess it breeds confidence. You've got someone you can rely on in that. And Dan Grimshaw, that's every week he does stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, listen, it, the thing with Grimmy, like he's one, he's a good goalkeeper, a really good, but he's a good footballer as well. You know, he, he can play, he can pass the ball and he can switch. And, uh, you know, that's a big part of the modern day goalkeeper. Um, and it's a big part of how we want to play and how I want, I want to play. So. Um, yeah, he's, um, he's, a, he's a dream from, from, from my point of view. Yeah, and obviously playing out from the back there were moments, little shaky moments, but they carried on trying it and that's, mm. I guess, the most important thing. Absolutely, and, and the shaky moments were only down to, um, let me get my words right here, just, just poor decisions from, from them. Like, they, they, they know and they, they know that they, they can make better decisions and it wouldn't, the ball wouldn't have got put at risk. So the more they do it, the more they replicate it, the better they become at it. And, um, Nights like tonight will give them confidence to continue to do it.